hey guys what's up so uh, welcome to my channel and today officially um, tapos na ang 2022 so in this video I will be ranking I will be making a tier list of everything not everything but every TV show or TV series that I've seen uh, sa 2022 or so anyway ito na let's let's start i will be going through them in alphabetical order so ayun ganong order siya yung pagkakasunod-sunod niya anyway so the first one is 1899 so it's the same creators of dark which is mm, one of my all-time favorite tv shows so for 18.99, I'm gonna put it in good. I'm pretty sure it's great, but based on my own experience and enjoyment and you know all that, I'm just gonna put it in good. But it wasn't bad, um, cause yeah, it was good. And then next one we have Abbott Elementary. I think I'm gonna put it in great, cause I've been really enjoying Abbott Elementary. So um, right now I'm actually watching season 2 of, of Abbott Elementary so yeah so based on the first season Abbott Elementary which I really really enjoyed and I think it's really really great so next one is season 7 of Agents of Shield I believe na sama ko to sa last um video ko like from last year but season hanggang season 6 lang yun. so for this year natapos ko na siya hanggang season 7 and it's been a long time since natapos ko na to, so I can't really remember what happened. So I'm just gonna put it in good, cause I'm pretty sure it was good, um, based on very few that I remember. Um, I remember feeling good sa last season niya, cause you know, conclusion it was the satisfying ending, ganyan. So next one is Alice in Borderland season two, so. Um, which I ko lang like a couple of days ago actually so it was pretty recent lang and I don't know this may be recency bias but I'm gonna put it in great because I I really enjoyed it so season 2 was also a lot of fun same thing with season 1 so yeah and then uh, next is all of us are dead so I'm gonna put it in either good or meh but maybe I'm gonna put it in um, meh kasi for all of us are dead I've, I only enjoyed the first and second season I mean the first and second episode that's it and then the rest of the episode ulit ulit na lang parang lahat sila filler episodes lang ganun yung feel so and then next we have is RuPaul's All Stars. I can't remember ko anong season, but wait, I'm just gonna search. So yeah, um, RuPaul's All Stars season seven. I'm gonna put it in. Sino nga ulit yung mga cast noon? Tamo na limut ng ko na. And dami dami kasi like RuPaul's Drag Race na pinapalabas in like a year. Imagine so. Ayun, nalimutan ko na. Ayun, ayun pala sila, ano, sila Raja, sila Jinx Monsoon. Ay, yung mga all winners season pala to. So, um, based on that, it was actually good. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. The, the cast were so much fun. I'm gonna put it in great, actually. <laughs> Kasi, ay, ayun, ang ganda ng cast. Um, lahat sila winners. So, lahat talaga sila may chance na manalo. So, it was a lot of fun seeing all of them because all of them are really talented and deserving sa crown. So, yeah. And then next is Archer. So, Archer season 13. Since hindi ko siya masyadong maalala, no? Then that just means that it was kind of forgettable. So, I'm just gonna put it in May. And then the next one is Barry. So, pinanood ko yung Barry this year, I mean last year, all the way from 
the first season hanggang sa third season and I gotta say it's one of the best. I really enjoyed Barry so much. Ayun, everything about it is just so impressive. It's really cool and compelling. So ayun. And then the next one is another show na I'm gonna put on the best which is the Better Call Saul season 6. So we'll um, in this season, ito na yung finale, ito na yung conclusion ng show as well as the, you know, I guess you could say Breaking Bad world, world, uh, Breaking Bad universe, parang ganun. Um, and yeah, it was really satisfying. It's as usual, wala naman ng bago, it's well written and ang ganda ng mga performances. And then next is Bridgerton season 2. I actually liked it a lot better than season 1. Although season 1 was okay din naman. Um, but I'm just gonna put it in good. But you know, that doesn't mean that they were bad. Kasi they were good enough. And then next is Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities. Um, ito rin. I'm just gonna put it in good. Um, all of the stories were interesting, but I don't know. Major boring, yung iba. So yeah, hindi siya ka solid, but yeah, it was still an interesting concept overall. And then the next one is uh, Drag Race Canada versus the World. So I'm just gonna put it in May. Kasi hindi siya, I don't know, hindi siya ganun ka enjoyable. I was actually a bit disappointed kasi um, the casts were good. They're all very talented and I recognize most of them. But I don't know, it was a bit bland this season. So yeah. And then the next one is Daredevil season 1. I'm just gonna put it in good then. Um, I don't know. I, he I heard a lot of people really like Daredevil and maganda daw siya. Uh, and maybe it is. It's just that season 1 pa lang kasing napanood ko. And for me, season 1 was just good. So, next is DP, which is honestly, I'm just gonna put it in meh. I don't know, hindi ko siya masyadong enjoy. Um, watching it at that time felt like an obligation to me. Ganun. Next is Drag Race Philippines Untucked. Um, I'm gonna put it in good. Um, sasabi ko na rin tong Drag Race Philippines. I'm gonna put it in great. Um, this might be biased. Um, I'm gonna admit since um, Philippines franchise siya. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in great. Even though may mga pagkukulang sila when it comes to the production and technical sometimes even the hosting uh but i just really enjoyed the entire thing the experience the casts all of it i enjoyed it next is emily in paris season three i believe so i'm just gonna put it in meh Ayun, i think i just feel the same thing about emily in paris each season so I uh, nothing has changed it's still the same so next is euphoria season 2 I'm just gonna put it in good um, maganda pa rin yung visuals niya and yung performances ng mga actors even the experience of watching it but yung narrative talaga ng season 2 the writing was really bad um, and then yung mga ibang characters they were wasted. The next one is Flores Lava. Season 2. Wala lang. Um, meh. Kasi that's just how I feel about it. I don't even know why I'm still watching that. Um, next is In the Soup. Friendcation. So, syempre biased ako. No? So, I'm gonna put it in good. Kasi it's Kim Taeyong and the Vogue Squad. Next is Guditama, an excellent adventure. It was actually really good. Uh, Shampoo, nothing groundbreaking about it, but it was very cute and funny. Next is Hacks. So, kaka start ko lang din ng Hacks last year. And so, ayun pareho kung pinanood yung season 1 and season 2. And I'm gonna put it in the best. I really, really enjoyed it. As in, um, halis magkasinud ko lang siyang pinanood with Barry. And 
I wasn't disappointed. I was actually a bit scared na baka I wouldn't find a show na I enjoyed as much as Barry. But then, I found hacks. So, that was really nice. And the next one is Heartstopper. So, Heartstopper was actually really cute and sweet and fun. So, I'm gonna put it in good. But, ayun din, nothing really groundbreaking about it, you know. And then, next one is High School Musical, the musical, the series, season 3. It was actually good this season. Kasi, maybe because it was a bit different, you know. Hindi na sila sa school, they're in a summer camp. So, yeah. And next is Jessica Jones, season 1. So, same lang din with Daredevil. Season 1 lang yun na palad ko. And same with Daredevil, I'm also just gonna put it in good. Uh, next is Love, That and Robot Season 3. So, I'm also just gonna put it in good. Um, but yeah, impressive pa din naman yung Love, That and Robots. Ne- they never fail to impress me. So, yeah, that's that. Um, next is Man vs. B. It's meh. Um, ayun, really a no-brainer type of show. As in, you don't have to use your brain for that show. Uh, next is um, uh, Moon Knight. Just gonna put it in good. Cause it was it was good. I think it started off great and then the next episode were just good. Uh, Miss Marvel was also good. I actually enjoyed Miss Marvel. Uh, next is Murderville. I'm just I'm just gonna put it in May. Um, the concept was really interesting though, but ayun nga uh, ewan mad madali ata ako magsawa so eventually. Episode 2 and 3, nagsawa na agad ako. And then, next is Normal People. I'm gonna put it in the best. Apparently, just showing the normal lives of people pala could be one of the most beautiful experience pala. So, yeah, I think Normal People is actually one of my favorite shows na of all time. And then, next is Only Murders in the Building Season 2. Um, it was a bit more chaotic the second season, but it's still really great. Um, next is Our Beloved Summer. I actually really enjoyed it. It's such a feel-good show. So, ayun, vibes, vibes lang, ganda. And then, next is Peacemaker. I'm gonna put it in good. I don't know if I should put it in good. You know what? Seeing the lineup here, I'm gonna put it in great because yeah, I really enjoyed this maker. Next is RuPaul's. Ano to? I think this is RuPaul's Drag Race, yung regular franchise sa US. Um, can't really remember. Season 13 ata or 14, I don't know. But yeah, I just put it in May. Next is Sheets Creek. So pinarod ko buong Sheets Creek. So all the way from the very first season on to the last season season and I'm gonna put it in great. No una I w- actually wasn't into it. It took me a while to parang get it and to actually enjoy it and then no na tapos ko na siya. it's probably one of the best things that I've ever watched. Um next is a series of unfortunate events. So season one lang yun na ko dito. Kasi nagsawa din ako sa kanya eventually but it's actually not that bad. But ayun, I just don't really see myself continuing season 2 and 3. Um, and then next is Severance, uh, which came out in 2022. And I, it's really, really good. So I'm gonna put it in the best. I think it's one of the best shows that came out in 2022. Uh, next is She-Hulk. I'm gonna put it in meh. And yeah, ayun, that's how I felt about She-Hulk. Um, but I hindi... It's not that bad actually. Um, next is Snow Snow Anato Snowdrop. Yung kay Jisoo. I am just gonna put it in me as well. Kasi no una ko lang siya na enjoy. And then yung mga next na episode na ayun na pa ulit ulit na. So nakakasawa na siya. And then the next is Stranger Things season 4. I'm gonna put it in great. Kasi ayun, I think. Mas nag-improve yung season 4 compared to season 3. And I enjoyed the entirety of season 4. So that's that. They gave us a lot of iconic scenes. So yeah, that was a good watch. And then next is 
succession. So with succession, I'm actually gonna put it in the best. Because it's really also one of the best shows out there. Currently, um, so actually, I watched it in December of 2021 and then I finished it in January 2022. So, sinama ko na lang siya dito sa list na ito and yeah i gotta say it's one of the best and then the next is Ted Lasso which is um yung pinaka last show actually na natapos ko in 2022 so i watch both season 1 and season 2 and i also gotta say it's one of the best i mean they also won the emmys for best comedy show for the last two years so that also says a lot about Ted Lasso the next is the end of the fucking world and I'm gonna put it in the best as well because um, I also got obsessed with the show I when I first watched it I couldn't stop watching it it's <laughs> already next is Midnight Club um, I'm gonna put it in me. I'm so sorry, Mike Flanagan. Pero me. So far, wala pa ako sa bad. Or maybe I just feel bad if ever may ilagay ako sa bad. So, ayan. So yeah, that it. I don't. There's nothing really here na I hate naman eh. So so far, hanggang me lang sila. And uh, the next one is the new the newsroom season one, which I'm gonna put in uh, great. Uh, unfortunately, hindi ko na na continue season 2, season 3 niya. Kasi, I don't know, I think um, my feelings for it faded. But um, based on season 1 alone, it's actually a really great show. So, yeah. Next is the Umbrella Academy season 3. Um, based lang to sa aking personal experience, no? I'm gonna put it in May. Kasi, ayun, it was also forgettable for me. Uh, next is the world's most amazing vacation rentals. This was super random. Then, so I'm just gonna put it in meh. Um, next is Tuka and Bertie season 3, I believe. Um, I'm gonna put it in good. Kasi lagi naman maganda yung Tuka and Bertie. They also never disappoint. Next is is RuPaul's Drag Race UK vs. The World. I'm gonna put it in... I'm gonna put it in meh. I'm actually... I'm thinking of bad or meh. But like... Grabe naman ata pag nilagay ko sa bad. So I'm just gonna put it in meh. Then we also have Under the Banner of Heaven. Ito, I... I know it's a great show. But based lang din on personal experience, I'm gonna put it in good ayun and then the next is wednesday i also enjoyed wednesday uh so i'm gonna put it in good ayun uh last but not least is yellow jackets and honestly hindi ko super like yellow jackets is not for me but i gotta give it to them it's actually a well-made show so i'm gonna put it in great um so yeah, this is the end of the list. So these are all the shows that I've watched and I think ranking ko sa kanila. So, so yeah, that's it for this video. Ito na yung buong list. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And see you on the next video. Bye.